Designing spaces, working on creative projects, and creating content are just some of the few things I work on regularly. And every time there's a project, it starts with an idea which branches out to several key points, which is great, but can be overwhelming to a certain extent. Therefore, as a creative, I understand the struggle of organizing your thoughts because my brain can also be also scattered and it easily shifts from one major thing to another, resulting to ideas being lost and unorganized along the way. Which is why I decided to really be intentional in note-taking and creating systems that work for me and might also work for you as a creative yourself. But here's a caveat. Not everyone takes notes the same way. Some prefer it to be just straightforward and some people like it a little bit more visual. That brings us to today's video which is sponsored by Scrintle. Scrintle is a visual space that combines an infinite canvas with documents. It's a powerful tool that lets you transform abstract thoughts into concrete ideas and strategies. And it has a great UI that anyone can understand easily but without lacking in tools for the most complex of projects. Therefore, making it a perfect solution for balancing linear and visual thinking to help you develop your ideas further while being organized at the same time. With that being said, let's start first with how I begin my projects using my simple workflow. Whenever I begin a project, I always start writing my ideas on paper. This is the fastest way to transfer information from your brain to a tangible object that will re record that information which you can refer to for future use. Manually writing on a notebook not only helps you with organizing your thoughts, but it also helps you get started almost immediately. Having the sketch basin for thoughts and ideas is what I call an idea hub. It's a practice that is proven to work and will continue to work even in this digital age. It also doesn't have to be clean, it just has to make enough sense to help you consolidate your thoughts. Knowing what to do before you start doing anything can make starting so much easier. So in brainstorming for ideas, I like doing the process of mind mapping. It's drawing a diagram with a certain subject at the center of the map and it branches out to several topics and subtopics which support the main subject. Mind mapping is a note-taking process that many creatives and thinkers use to develop ideas and put as many concepts and thoughts as possible surrounding a certain topic. This can be done both manually and digitally and is a great stepping stone for organizing your thought process and workflow. Now, there are a lot of apps and softwares you can use to do digital note-taking and project management. You might already have heard of Notion, but recently I have been using Scrintle to digitalize the note-taking and organization side of things. I want to show you around how I use it, but first let's quickly talk about its UI. When you open it, it has a simple dashboard to your left with all the components that you need at a glance. You can see this My Desk section where you can access some pre-made boards which you can also change. Below it, you have the browse section where you can navigate through your cards, boards, tags, tasks, and web links. The next portion is where you can see your start boards. This is where your favorite boards are located for easy access. Below it are your most recent boards and to the bottom left most, you get to access some settings and your recently deleted boards. For this video, I'm gonna use my ongoing project which is our house currently under construction as an example for note taking and mind mapping. Using Scrintle, you can see here the board that I have for this project. So basically a board is an infinite space including blocks and cards. You can place any media on a board by pasting them onto blocks. You can create as many boards as you need in Scrintle. One of its key features is the overview effect. You can easily zoom in and out of the infinite canvas and you will experience a cognitive shift seeing the bigger picture of your projects and ideas. So you can use a board as your blank canvas when brainstorming and taking notes for your project. In it, I organized several cards which represent different sections of the house. I separated them into sections which indicate their progress, if they're still being designed currently or already being finished. Cards are similar to sticky notes that you can use to include as much information as you want. Think of them as small pages where you can store details or notes. And each card is also an openable page. For, for example, if I click on this card, it shows me a checklist of the progress of the space. Furthermore, you can also click on this icon to open focus mode, which gives you a whole page overview of what's inside the card. Now, another great feature of Scrintle is the open card windows. Scrintle's open card windows facilitate seamless exploration of ideas by allowing you to delve into card content while navigating the canvas. This approach makes it effortless for you to connect the dots between your ideas, ensuring insights remain accessible during creative exploration. 
By enabling you to open multiple cards simultaneously, you'll get a better flow of thought and you can connect your ideas at a glance. And one of my favorite interesting features of Scrintle, and to me also one of the game changers, is that you can also use bi-directional links to connect ideas visually with one another, forming a network of interconnected thoughts. For example, brainstorming ideas for the kitchen is easier because I can connect the kitchen card with my mood board card. This feature enables effortless navigation between ideas. So whether you're deepening your understanding of a particular topic or brainstorming new ideas, having a visual map of how everything ties together decreases the mental burden. Now, creating idea boards is not just for conceptualization, but also for organizing sections of the house that have been designed and are currently being constructed. For example here, the master bedroom and the master bathroom. I have uploaded the perspectives and plans which I can easily use as a reference while I'm working on the development of the project. Inside these cards, you can also put blocks, which can be text or image elements that contain information as well as task lists which can be toggled to keep track of your progress. As an example, I have a checklist here for the development of the bathroom. This gives me information on where I am at the moment in terms of finishing the space. I also am able to upload PDF files onto my card which I can easily open. You can see here all the plans and details that I need as a reference for my design. Another noteworthy feature is the ability to add columns to your board. It's quite simple to do by just right-clicking on the canvas and clicking columns. You can see here my project overview column, which I use as a reference for my weekly progress in the construction. And inside these columns, you can add cards that contain useful information. I made a weekly checklist of the things that we purchased for the house and the work that needs to be done on a daily basis. Beside it, I also have a column designated to be a reference for all my plans and drawings for easy access when I need them. Having the option to have a dedicated section for your project in this kind of format is a game changer because it provides you an organized overview of your project notes. Now with this kind of system, I can easily have a bird's eye view of my project and see it as a whole. But I can also zoom in when I want to and add more details along the way. So you can really see that Scrintle offers you a lot of room to explore your ideas from conceptualization all the way to detailing. As mentioned earlier, not everyone takes notes the same way. And taking notes, whether with just words or with some visual aids, will depend entirely on you. But having the option to do both on an infinite canvas is a game changer because it allows you to design a playground for your mind. With Scrintle, you can create boards and notes for each project that you have, ensuring that you get to keep and organize your ideas from start to finish. Having a visual map is easily one of the most fun ways to shape your ideas, and this is one of the best ways to do this. Now, there's definitely a lot more to discuss about how to use Scrintle, but I'm saving the other concepts for another video, which I hope to share with you guys again very soon. If you're interested, and trying out Scrintle for yourself, you can use the link I provided in the description. And for a limited time, Scrintle is also offering a discount for new users. You can use my discount code flash on the screen right now to get 10% off on your personal pro plan. Being a creative is challenging because you're so full of ideas almost all the time. It can be hard to keep them together without the right system and without the right tools. So I hope you learned something from this video which you can apply to organize your note-taking and brainstorming process. I would really love to hear your thoughts so please share your key takeaways from the comments and if you have any questions comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. If this was helpful to you, share it with a friend so you can help them organize their thoughts and ideas too. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and TikTok for behind the scenes and updates. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.